Hello, it's Thursday night, and you know what that means. And it is episode 24. We've almost made it half a year. And I'm very excited for my guest today. I've been waiting weeks to have him on. We're going to talk Comic-Con. We're going to talk theme parks, especially in East Anglia. But um, I really can't do him justice if I introduce him myself. So um, I'm going to let some very special people take it away. Hello. What's your name? My name is Neil. Neil? Neil. Oh, happy Neil. <laughs> Hello, Neil from Nox of Iris. Hello. <laughs> I, I didn't ask you this oh. beforehand, but have you got the stick? Um, yeah, I, it was just it's just a selfie stick that I had my camera on. I've now got um, a little. I now use that little one now for my to hold my camera. But that I did a have a big old. That's like a yeah, yeah. I just had a selfie stick before, and it looked a bit camera on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh every time I watch that video. Those guys were hilarious. So how are you doing anyway? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. But before I got into anything, I wanted to ask, uh, where did the channel name come from, Nox Survives? Ah, well, there's a bit of a story. I'm, I'll try not to make it too long. Um, but um, I started off um, thinking and playing as a gamer, and I thought, oh, I, I need a name. So I, I come up with, um, I wanted a Darth name, obviously, a Star Wars fan. So I wanted, um, I come up with Darth Noxious. And then um, throughout the years, I shortened it to Nox. And then... Um, as I uh, went from gaming into doing vlogs, I, I didn't want Noxious because it. My channel was called Noxious One Seven Six One Four, yeah, something like that. But and then, um, yeah, the, yeah, I I didn't want it. Was too difficult for people to remember. So I thought I've got to shorten that and then I change it to Nox Survives to, you know, encompass the whole variety of different things I do. So. Um, yeah, I thought survives is good. I play survival games. I go out surviving things. Yeah, that'll do. Well, surviving <laughs> things. Yeah. I survive roller coasters. I still live. <laughs> I thought when you said when you first started with that Darth Noxious, I thought you go then it was taken. That's why it's changed. That's I didn't, it was going. I've not. I've never heard anyone called Darth Noxious before. I think. <laughs> But yeah, I dropped the Darth um, very early in. As, um, that was a bit too um, too much for me. That then I became just noxious, and I still I still game as noxious. So um, yeah, I've seen. <laughs> you ever seen them. noxious? Out yeah, there? It should be in the uh, description of YouTube. But after seeing this video, if you want to, anyone wants to go on his channel, there's some fun uh, horror games you've been you played on there. Your reactions are quite <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, uh, it's um, yeah, it's a it's a bit nerve wracking playing the horror games. Uh, I, f I follow another YouTuber who plays a lot of horror games. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I'll, get, I'll do a bit of that. And uh, yeah, that's a that's a bit heavy going. It's, you, you get a bit nervous after it's playing It's healthy a lot though, isn't it? The heart games. rate. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> not at the time, it's not. Do one thing a day that scares you. <laughs> yeah. So talking about oh, the hello, scaring, chat. Hello, chat. <laughs> we've got, yeah, we've got Yasmin Hunt new as well. Yes, um, one of my followers is Yasmin. She's always um, one of my first in my comments. Uh, yeah, we got my sisters there as well. Bessie as well. That's a cool name. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Ian. Yeah, we've got a few of my followers are down there. So, yeah. but what, Hi, I like everyone. About, what I like about your channel, and it's not—I'm not saying it just covers that, but because I kind of grew up, I don't live there anymore, but I grew up in like East Anglia. It's nice to see the places because you go to a lot of them because they're local to you quite often for Halloween yeah. and things like that. So I want to talk about first the Great Yarmouth, the Pleasure Beach. But more specifically, yeah. the fairground frights. Yes, it's uh, one of my one of my favourite events of all time. Anywhere I go, is oh, I love fairground frights so much. It's um, it's not so scary. It's not the the fear they give you. It's um, the atmosphere they create. How 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 much of a a, a good time you have? Um, you got all these actors walking around the whole event, and um, it's a really good fun. I, I, I was um. They jump on uh, the rides with you, and uh... yeah, I've got some. Uh, I've got a couple of photos. This <laughs> is shocking. Do you want to yeah, talk about what he's this, doing? This guy here, yeah, we, we were just standing in the queue, and he came along eating an ice cream, <laughs> and freaking freaking these girls in front of me out. He jumped on the the 
the um car yeah the try the what are they snails they jumped on yeah, the, the snails, snails in front of us do they then, still um, play um it's a small world they don't they have the actual disney music now well it's it small it is disney but they have the you go through the aladdin section and they play aladdin and yeah they play the actual relevant thing now so they're, they're still in breach of copyright but <laughs> <laughs> i can't imagine it's worth disney's time <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> but you never know. Um, Sean done it the other day in Theme Park, Theme Park Worldwide, and they might watch his video, so uh, he might get him into trouble. You never know. <laughs> Did uh, I'm going to go through some things I saw on the video. Uh, that Dracula. Did you get in that coffin in the end? He led you to a coffin, no, didn't he? No, I, th I think um, the bosses <laughs> called him away. I didn't know what what was going on. You get in that, get in there. <laughs> Telling me to get in the coffin. What are you, what are you going to do with me in the coffin? <laughs> well, you just asked me standing. Did you ask him if he had mirrors? No, I didn't. <laughs> should, should have had some garlic prepared, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> the other thing in that video that was very, uh, I thought, I almost thought was that a good idea was um, they allow people to dress up who visit the park. So then it's quite hard to tell who works for the park and who doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that is a problem because um, uh, they do um, fa fancy dress um, competition as well. So um, people who are dressed up, you just you just haven't got a clue. You have got people dressed the staff up, staff member of a winner, all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they know. I think they know who's who. But um, yeah, so you just never know. You got you look around and you see someone dressed up, and they could be there to scare you. They could be not. Uh, it's um, it's yeah. Um, they. Uh, because they um, have a whole family there, the, the actors kind of um, they judge where, how uh, how much you they what they're going to scare you kind of thing. So um, they won't go full on if there's kids there, and they'll just walk past. They and, didn't. Uh, they didn't seem to go full on on you sometimes in the uh, funhouse. No, just totally ignored <laughs> you, didn't they? <laughs> that that's the second time I went. Yeah, the, um, it's it's a gripe of mine at scare events is that um, the actors wait for the girls behind you. And you just walk past an actor, and they know a couple of girls are coming who they're going to get the big screams from. And um, I get ignored, and it's well, I, I paid good money as well, and you should hear me. I scream like a girl, so you might as well give me the scare as well. <laughs> Have so. you said that to them before? <laughs> no, no, I said, but I've said I've it on, I said on video. Vlog. In vlog, <laughs> yeah. when you go, uh, not interested in me, not interested in me. <laughs> Uh, what was it? Um, the howl got a pretty hard time from me when I went there because uh, that happened all the time, and I got so annoyed. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was literally people. There was people walking past me to go and get people. The next group coming. So it's uh, It's not really fair. It's uh, so yeah. It's a, it's was, a big gripe of mine. <laughs> I wasn't planning on mentioning it, but what was the name of that one? Um, it, the title on your YouTube channel was something like um, the worst. Uh, <laughs> scare mate, scare attraction, and then you said there was one bit near the end with a chainsaw guy, and the person in front of you stopped to take a photo, and then the chainsaw ran yeah. out of petrol. Yeah, he was standing there posing them for the photos, and I could hear it splurring away, and you, know? <laughs> you just know it's going to run out. And then, yeah, they walked off, and it just ran out of petrol. It's a, it was, it was a terrible event, I have to say. That was, um, yeah, <laughs> I went to it the second year, and they improved oh, it you a went little back. bit. You could. You could, yeah, yeah. It's in, it's in Norfolk, and I, I, I want these events to do well. I don't want oh, to yeah, go yeah, yeah. And, and give them a bad review. I want stuff on my doorstep to be really good. I want, <laughs> I want some great stuff. So um, I went back hoping um, that improved. They did improve, and um, a couple of the areas were quite scary or quite, um, quite intense. But um, you could still tell it was quite budget. Uh, and they're, they're not back this year. They, they've um, have disbanded. <laughs> so um, yeah. But that was that first year was terrible. They blamed it on COVID and wind and um, yeah, wind. Uh, three scare actors walking around a dark field isn't really uh, an event. It lasted about five minutes, and it, they were it, advertising it as thirty minutes. It, it didn't like, seem like much of the outside bit was roped off. Was there was there a clear boundary? No, it, no, it was, it, it was. That was pretty much what you had: a, two ropes either side, and that's what you walked around this dark field in. As um. There's one bit you went through some camo netting, and that was it. There was a uh, pretty much all you get. You got um, a marquee to start with, and that was I. It was a. Uh, I thought it was going to be okay, <laughs> and then it, it just got worse and worse as you went through. It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's very sad. 
And um, just before we go on to Pleasure of Hills, I want to mention oh. from your vlog, the uh, was the Fairground Frights the first scare attraction in the UK? It's not the first. Fa no, it wasn't. It wasn't Fairground Frights. They had a um, a scare. I don't know what it was called. It was some kind of um, scare attraction they had. It must have been in the eighties or seventies or eighties. Um, they had something at the back. Oh, but um, it was in the same park. Yeah, that was the first scare attraction to be in the in the UK. So yeah, quite interesting. I found that out from a uh, scare tour. Um, Michael Bolton, wasn't it? I, I met him on the first night, and uh, yeah, he told me all about that. But I can't remember the name of it. It's uh, I try and look it up, and I just can't find any information about it at all. It's too long ago, before the days of the internet. <laughs> but, th but this is my favourite um, park in uh, some of the Norfolk Suffolk border, isn't it? Technically, Pleasurewood Hills. Yeah, it's um, yeah. yeah when, I used, when I used when I used to go there quite often on the radio, it always used to say between. Great Yarmouth between Great Yarmouth and, and Lowestoft, yeah. but um, it's it's more Lowestoft. Lowest yeah. <laughs> they were just they were just trying to get the Great Yarmouth crowd in there. <laughs> but did you want to talk about what you did on this? Uh, is it the Water Fun Factory or the Fun Water Factory? I can't. Remember. The Water Water Fun Factory. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um... Did you want to explain what you did on this here. ride? This world's first. Oh, 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 yeah, I know what you're getting at. Um, I saw Andy Rumley, Coaster Crazy, his video, and uh, he says uh, that no one. Has um, done a POV on it, um, so he says, "Oh, YouTuber, get down there, and you'll be the first uh, POV to be on on YouTube of this ride." So I thought, "Right, I'm going to do it next time I'm down there." And the next time I was down there it was like first of November. It was freezing cold. It was, and it gets you pretty wet. That ride does. Um, so uh, yeah, I got I got soaking wet in the middle of November, uh, and I uh, I did it for Andy, and I still stand by that. I did it. I did it for Andy. <laughs> and uh, and the views, of course. <laughs> but I, I think it's done quite well. That video, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> how how what do you, you think about the theming on that compared to what it? I'm, I'm assuming you visited for years. Like yeah, that. they um they gave it a barn. It it needs more theming. It needs kind of like um pipes coming in and out and water dripping out. It would be lovely to be completely themed. I mean, they done they done it was it's a lot better than it was, of course. Um, but I would love to see, yeah, pipes coming out with um, water spouts and um, just looks like a factory rather than a water barn kind of. It almost thing. looks it, like it they're looks trying like to match a... the theming for Express. Yeah, they yeah they've kind of done that, and they've got some new places they've done as well, which is kind of a similar feel as well. So um, yeah, they're they're kind of following that theme throughout the park as they paint stuff up, that um, Barney feel. I don't know. Farm I've always says they need they need a petting do petting zoo down there. It's um it's a perfect place for a petting zoo. They want it family. Uh and they've got all this barn stuff everywhere. So um put a petting zoo, put four or five animals or something, and um yeah. <laughs> Charlotte would love it. <laughs> it just remind me of uh, when Thorpe Park had a farm, and there was one year where they had like intensity rating five star four star whatever on the map and i remember one <laughs> year three star technically meant like for families or something but when you're looking yeah. at it thought farm was three out of five stars intensity <laughs> <laughs> and that so always intense. stuck with me i can't remember what year that was on the map white knuckle but I, put, I put a photo on the bottom right here for everyone to see because i remember last time i went i thought it was weird that there's no water at that top bit the top trough at the top of the higher drop you're just rolling on wheels round. Yeah. And the sides are quite low compared to the bits of water in as well. For how high you are, it's quite. Yeah, it feels a little bit weird. Oh, where's the picture? <laughs> yeah, it feels a bit strange um, to have no water there. But um, I don't know. It's, it's Pleasure with Hills. You don't expect uh, <laughs> the best. I oh, don't do say you. that. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want the best, but I just don't expect it. Looping group. I, I give them a hard time. <laughs> every, every time I go there, I'm always saying they could do this. I try to give my um, best criticism. Do you, that do what you they tell them improve. when you're there? <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, if, if, if Looping's group was walking around, the managers of Looping's group, I would tell them. But um, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I think I've got some good ideas, and um, there might be a little bit something coming next year. I've heard hear rumours. I don't want to say really, because it's just rumours. But something might be coming next year. So, um, 
keep your eyes open. <laughs> Pleasure with hills. Just want to say, I, I agree with uh, Ian Mozza, one, two, three, four. He says Neil deserves more followers. If you're not sub to him, go check him out. Thank after you very this much. Video. Links in descriptions. I'm, I'm still trying to get to my thousand. I'm, I'm I like, desperately. Try, I know it's a bit cliche, thousand. but I like how genuine you are in them because, um, like, uh, we'll talk about the mazes at Pleasure Hills, but there was one uh, under. Is it underneath the Castle Theatre? Yeah. Yeah, the, and, you, um, and when, when you reviewed it afterwards, you couldn't quite remember the name, but then it didn't really matter because all we wanted to know was a review anyway. But it was it was kind of like you're not there with almost with a script. Do it, it, yeah. It's you. It's just you, and that's what I liked about it. Uh, I'm, like, I'm terrible. It was Thirteen uh, something, hob something, memory. and then you just went into review, and I was like, <laughs> "That's brilliant," because it's just it's not or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's just me. I just uh, I just do it. I don't um, I don't sit there with roller coaster database or anything. <laughs> I just I just do whatever I whatever I feel like, and it's um, yeah. <laughs> now, in thank a minute, you for the you're subs. Gonna, you're going to tell us about what happens in that train, but I just want to say before now. Many years ago, that train was a restaurant. Yeah, well, I've never went there was a restaurant. Um, was, I'm talking about 20 years ago, to be fair. <laughs> it's, it's nice, and it's, it's a shame that they've got this um, horrible um, dodgems in front of it. That's um, oh, really slow. Hyperspace, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, they tell you no bumping, and uh, they, they really shout at you if you go, <laughs> to give a little someone a little bump. How, how, it's, how long has that rule been? terrible. In? Because I remember last time uh, I went, I think it was t- 2015, I think, and uh, it had rained, and somehow there was lots of rain on the actual floor in that thing, but I don't know yeah. why they... I thought they weren't allowed to open it if that kind of stuff happened, but we went on it, and we're just all sliding around the corners, because you know, it's like an oval. Well, that sounds good. I, and I it was really cool. It was like drifting. <laughs> but I didn't know you weren't allowed to bump. I'm sure that must be like... A yeah, there was the one year years. it was um, It got so slow. It was right, literally down to a crawl. You were, it was slower than the little ones down in by the barn or down by um, Express. There's a little, little baby yeah, that, one. And slow. it was even slower than that one. So, um, yeah, after that, I, I think they got pretty strict with bumping and things. And it's... Just, I think they had like three, four cars on there, and it was just so boring. Um, but yeah, I think they should get rid of that and they use what that. What they could do nice is put feature. challenges instead. What they could, if you're not allowed to bump, they could put like empty cars there, and you have to parallel park and do other st- stuff instead of going. <laughs> little driving school, bump yeah. the cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's so, what do you think of Wipeout? I tried to um, crop this. You can just see the C in the top left. But when you're sat at the back, you can see the sea. And I knew the sea was to the right-hand side. But when I first went on it, I was surprised how much the sea kind of goes around to the front. You're very close to the sea front. I didn't realise how close the part yeah, was. Yeah, you're the literally, literally like right there. That used to be on the maps, didn't it? When you had a map, they would show the sea front, even though you couldn't walk there. But yeah, I like Wipeout. Um, it's the best ride there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, only... uh, I think uh, Cannibal Express is. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty rough these days. Cannibal Express. It's um, yeah, it's it's okay. Sean was there the other the other week, and he says um, it should be indoors. Cannibal Express, and I'd never thought of that before. And it's such well, a good coaster to be indoors. It would be yeah, it'd be it'd be brilliant. It's um, did you ever yeah, ride? I was... I've not got Sorry. photos of it, but Express. Did you ever ride it when it was about? This is going about back about twenty years when it was the rattlesnake, and they actually had that clear. The lift hill was inside a mountain. Um, no. no, I'm sure. I'm sure Squid no. Bit Bessie will because she remembers the restaurant in the chat. I'm sure she'll remember. It was a lift hill, and it was in a mountain. And then the first half of the drop was inside the mountain. And they had like black light, and then these UV fluorescent pictures of snakes on the wall. It's quite good. I was hoping you'd remember that. I remember that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you remember when Cannibal Express was called Enigma for a few years for no good reason? Yeah, I heard, I didn't don't remember that, but um, a friend of mine did tell me that, and uh, yeah, it's it's a weird name. Well, it's, but, but they still had the trains for Cannibal Express written. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. Try something new. <laughs> uh, did, did you want to tell us a, about? A, no, you carry on. I was just saying it's a nice park. Um, it's something that I'd love to Im- love to improve, but um, I'd like to go there. And yeah, the, the I feel like I have right, nostalgia. I, for, I feel like if I didn't have all this nostalgia for it, I, w- I probably yeah, wouldn't uh, be as loving for it as I am. I'll probably see it. For nostalgia it plays a big part for parks. It's like um, the people that go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and have grown up with it. 
and they absolutely love it. But I go there and I uh, think there's only one ride that's only worth going for. It's uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have any nostalgia for it whatsoever. And um, oh, right, for, pleasure. Every, for, for Blackpool, Blackpool we're Pleasure about. Beach, yeah. <laughs> I just see every ride as being a rough old ride, apart from my icon. So um, it's it's it doesn't have much of a draw for me, uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But yeah, it's that, that nostalgia thing, isn't it? Do you think you can describe the maze in that train? Because I, I get, I bet it was quite cramped. Um, you don't. It, I mean, it feels like you're going through a train and they've got bits blocked off. You're kind of like zigzagging down it kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, they've got people pushing their arms through netting and things like that. And it it, it kind of works. It's a good – I'd love to have more of it um, because it does feel short. But um, what they do with it is uh, it's really good. It's um, – yeah, I, they they haven't skimped on anything, I don't think. They've uh, – have done the best they could with what the the little space. I mean, it's two carriages long. That's all. That's the whole maze. Um, and what they've done with it is a uh, pretty good. It's uh, well worth what two fifty you pay for it. Two I was five say, pounds for the two mazes. Five yeah. pounds for the both. Do you have to do you have yeah. to buy them together? Yeah, you have to get them together. Yeah, I think I think you do. Don't quote me on it, but I think you do. <laughs> what What was yeah. the um? I don't know what the the name of it. <laughs> the other maze that you don't remember the name of. It was thirteen Hobbs. Uh, Revenge, yeah, it's, it? it's, it's, it's Rob Hobbs' revenge. That's it. I I, I kept calling it keep, Hobbs Pit, but I'm um, it's they not keep Hobbs him Pit. in the storyline because they got rid of the ride. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. What, what did you uh, think about the ride? Because it was a really big investment, but it's yeah, almost I, like I, we knew they wouldn't I be only, able to keep it up. I only ever did it once, um, and I don't think there was all the actors in there at the time. But um, yeah, they uh, they. Sh I wish they'd have kept it because um, I'm not a fan of shooting rides personally. Um, I don't use the gun when I get on shooting rides. I just uh, sit there and no, neither do I. I'm the only one who does it. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't see the point. What's the point of shooting the stuff to uh, to find out a number? I'm, I've got a PlayStation at home if I want to go around shooting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's yeah. as bad as what you could have said. You could have said, I've got a gun or something. <laughs> oh, while we're here on the on the subject, of oh, weapons, oh, here we go. I, I, I <laughs> feel the link. <laughs> Just, it's going to be smooth. It's going to be a smooth uh, segue. Have you got your lightsaber? I've told so many people about your lightsaber. Not, not my Thor hammer. <laughs> you can't get it off the wall, can you? It's glued down. No, it's it's stuck to the wall. It's a uh, it's thrown and stuck. So here it is. There's my um, there's my lightsaber. We've got the uh. It's, it's quite, a, quite a basic one. It's nothing uh, too special. Just um, it's not a replica or anything, as you can see. But it still looks quite decent. Hang on, I'll wear. Uh... Hang on. Oh, <laughs> and we've got um, lots of different colours. Ah. So uh, yeah, we've got all the. All... <laughs> yeah, you got the nice changing colour. Is that the changing colour one? No, that's not. We've got one that changes colour. Mace Windu. Yeah, I like the I like the um, purple one, but um, oh, oh, I can't find the changing color one. <laughs> oh, somewhere. it actually changes constantly, does it? Yeah, it kind of like rotates the color. Oh, that's it. There you go. So when oh, when you were cosplayed cool. as a Jedi, oh nice. <laughs> when you cosplayed as a Jedi, did that's you cosplay nice as Darth uh, Darth uh, Noxious? Uh, no, I it, I was just a, I was um, just going as a Jedi. It's actually a an Anakin costume, but um, yeah, I was just generally going as a, a Jedi. Um, but that wasn't the intention. The intention is um, to go to Norcon. I'm going to Norcon, and um, I'm going to improve my uh, Jedi outfit. So um, I'm not going to say what it is just yet. But there's going to be a big improvement to my Jedi outfit. <laughs> you mentioned Norcon. Ah, there we go. And this was last year. <laughs> it's such a good event. We've got um, my sister and I think my mum's probably with my sister talking at the same time. But they went with me as well um, and had a really good time. And my wife, she went as well. <laughs> Don't forget her. <laughs> I've got to be yeah, in trouble um... now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Norcon, it's... Um... What is Norcon, they're saying? Yeah. I went as Thor. It's it's a a convention, um, a sci-fi convention, and uh, brilliant, really good fun. Um, I've only just started doing conventions, and um, I, I fell in love with it from the first anime one I went to. 
um yeah i uh i just fell in love with uh just the whole atmosphere of the place how everyone's dressed up and uh i like i like dressing up although there's a uh, not too many people i can dress up as um being a bigger guy it's uh, difficult to dress up as uh, like spider-man and things like that <laughs> you've got to find uh, those um, do, uh, niche uh, doc i reckon you could do a good uh, doc that's on the list Pe the penguin i thought is it would be a good one <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um it's, it's difficult doing superheroes. So there's not many superheroes that are, are large. <laughs> I think the more, villains are more large than the, the heroes. Because, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was going to try and go through the photos. The first one, I got this photo because it's from the intro, but was it a reference to, uh, is it Delia Smith when you said, Let's Be Avenue? No, no, it's oh, just... Uh, I a... thought it was a clever reference from when she said it at Norwich oh. Football Club. Because no, you're in Norwich, I thought, oh, he's done a Delia Smith reference. <laughs> oh, I did. I should have said yes. Oh, no, there's a... <laughs> there's a go Actually, it's um, it's Ian who's in chat. He he would say that to me all the time. He would say, instead of... Because uh, my intro is usually, come with me, my friends, and I'd say something... Um, and, I, and then I thought, yeah, for that, I'd, I'd say, let's be having you or something. You know, whatever whatever it was I said. Um, oh, it's a, come in, my friends, I said. Come in, my friends, let's be having you. Yeah, let's be having I, you. I thought, I, 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 thought, I thought I'd get it wrong as Thor kind of thing. So it's just a little... It, um, now I've mentioned it, do you even remember the Delia Smith thing? <laughs> I can't have... I it can't was something have about, because she was a shareholder and she goes, where's the 12th man? Let's be having you. <laughs> She was having a go at the fans. Yeah, she, she was freaking out at him, weren't she? Yeah, yeah so. that's what I thought it was a reference to. I thought, oh, that's really smart. <laughs> oh, I, should, I, I didn't, I didn't realise. I should have, I should have, uh, I should have learned about that. But yeah. And then I this is the um, the 2021 video. If you want to look at it on his channel, but I put a photo of the Funkos because you walked past them at the start, and then at the end you went back and realised they weren't stupidly expensive for no reason. They were signed. <laughs> Those, yeah, <laughs> just oh my god, they must be rare ones. <laughs> it's not like I, I can't see the prices on there, but they were stupid expensive. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I know that you can get um, some really expensive ones, but um, I've got a few myself up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all we could remembers. I remember that. She was like, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you and then you spoke to that Dalek, and I was quite impressed by um is it's is someone it's remote controlled, isn't it? There's no one inside it, is there? Um there's yeah, it was someone inside it. Oh, it was uh, couldn't, I couldn't decide because it was talking back to you a lot of time. It was I I think so. I, I was talking to it, so I, I was presuming someone was inside talking to me. But he was quite funny. He was. I was having a good laugh with him inside. I can't remember what he was saying. Compliment in your beard, wasn't he? <laughs> I can't remember. I just remember I was having a really good laugh with him. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a, had some good good fun times. These um, I like these a costume one. I'm glad you got this picture of the um, Ghostbusters. There, they are. They are. Um, what do they call themselves? Uh, Shakespearean Ghostbusters, and they had all like, uh, oh, is that what? Uh, now I see it. Now that's what they're in the trousers. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, was, that was really funny. And they kind of like, are they did, talking uh, like Shakespeare as well? Yeah, yeah, it was Shakespeare. That was, um, they're actually real actors. If the lady in there with the bra the black hat is, is one of the actors in um, uh, Fairground Frights, one of the doll girls, all right. she's uh, um, yes, yeah, the one that I went on the teacups with. If you, ever, if you ever saw that bit of me on the teacups, she's spinning around. That's her as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> small world. <laughs> small small county. <laughs> it's not. And, it's the second biggest county. Oh, well, Norfolk. Yeah. <laughs> but, I had to get this photo What's, for myself, we, and I'll probably show Stacey we as well. There's a girl doing lightsaber class, and she's dressed as Nightwing. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, that's awesome. Brilliant. It's Nightwing. I'm happy now. That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a great character. I, I love the um the characters that aren't you know the biggest characters out. Yeah, there. the main you know, ones, the Spider Mans yeah. and the, the Superman and what have you. Just yeah, the, the the smaller characters that people don't quite. You just reminded only, me only the else. fans really know about. But sorry, you just reminded me of something else. I didn't get a photo of it, but uh, a couple of times in the uh, 2021 Norcon video, there's someone dressed as the Smiler staff. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I thought of all the places you go, and someone's dressed as one of the Smiler stuff. I think it might be um, a furry because I know I've got a friend, well, a friend through the anime things that um, and the conventions. She's dressed up as you know fairies, the old um, animal costumes, the human animals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she always wears um, roller coaster outfits. So I think she's a big fan of the Smiler, so she'd wear the clothes of a Smiler and as a, as a furry as well. So, oh, would you put the furry probably, on and then? Yeah, she probably had her hat, head off. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't actually think so. I notice her on the video. Uh, I don't know. You don't notice a lot when you're walking around filming, do you? <laughs> you just uh, just looking straight in front of you. <laughs> so, um, are you DC or Marvel? What biggest fan? Marvel you, through and uh, through. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, but I, I do take the exception at. Um, Batman, kind of like the Batman movies, Dark Knight, and uh, even uh, the new Batman one is great. But um, as f f for movies, oh, Marvel, Kevin Feige has done brilliant. He's uh, he's my god. <laughs> Kevin Feige can do no wrong. <laughs> um, just uh, anyone who's not watched it yet, She-Hulk is looking brilliant already. I've watched the first episode and it looks great. I've heard mixed it, reviews. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about watching oh. it. People, there's always mixed reviews on everything of, that Marvel do. They always know what they want. They and uh, you've just got to go with it. They do so so many different things. They're trying different things. And um, if you're doing movie after movie and series after series, it's going to get boring if you keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, so That's what um, they did with keep changing it up. <laughs> Sorry, That's what uh -huh. they did with Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, and look what happened to it. It got <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you, you you watch like three series and then stop, don't you? So um, yeah, you've got to keep changing it, haven't you? You've got to make it fresh and different. Um, and and that's what Marvel's doing, and that's what I love so much about it—the fact that everything is so different. You know, the, the um, Ms. Marvel one was um just fantastic. I, I thought that was brilliant. So many people slated what that. Think, what do you think of Moon Knight? Brilliant. I, I I would say every single one is brilliant. I mean, there's some I prefer more than others. I think my favourite is Wanda and maybe Loki. Uh, WandaVision and Loki. So but, we've um, set everyone off yeah. in the chat about Marvel right now. And uh, <laughs> Paul Kersley has said, what we, what we man say? about man over to Marvel and we're sorted. Which one or two Marvel characters <laughs> yeah. would you get rid of? Marvel if If I could get rid of... Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, uh oh, I've never never even thought about that. Uh, what's what's my least favourites? Um probably Hawkeye, maybe he's um he's probably he's, gone he's anyway shot, now. Though. He's a good shot. <laughs> yeah, but they've got the girl there, haven't they? If you go to the fairground, <laughs> he can win you some prizes. <laughs> you can leave Marvel and come with me, come to the fairs with me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I, I I don't really have a dislike for anyone. I, I don't think so. I, pro I probably will come away from this and think, I know I should have said him because he's terrible. But um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any. No, it's, um, no. <laughs> and in this, in this video, you went outside and um, I think you got a photo with Chewbacca later on. But yeah. there was a photo op of uh, the uh, Mos Eisley Cantina, that shooting scene. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, who, the... who actually shot first? <laughs> well, it was uh, it was Han Solo originally, wasn't it? But there's a lot of speculation over whether he actually shot. <laughs> well, they, they changed it, didn't they? They changed it so he didn't. <laughs> he says, oh, no. I don't know why. He's, he's, he's supposed to be a rogue, so <laughs> why not give him, let him shoot first? I can understand if Luke wasn't shooting first, but... Um, and so look at you first, no worries. <laughs> Who do you think is the most underrated uh, comic book hero? Um, underrated, sure. Oh, you really put me on the spot now. Um, uh, I don't, this, this isn't <laughs> even the quiz, this is just a question. <laughs> oh, there's so, there's so many, so many. Um, I, I, about. Six or seven, before Deadpool came out in the movies, I would have said Deadpool. And it probably is, but, um, because um, people see Deadpool um, as a bit of a joker and all that. Um, and the best thing I find about Deadpool is um, the fact that he knows that he is a fictional character. 
and and that is yeah. um, unique throughout the universe. It's uh, no one else realizes that they're fictional, and that gives you so much power to know you're not actually real or that you just made up. So <laughs> I think that is a brilliant power to have to know you're not actually a real per or you're not real. You're just you're just a person in a comic book or a movie. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. It means you can go over to other movies and kill yourself uh, when you're playing badly in the Green Lantern and things. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on the Green Lantern. Well, he, he sorted that out for us. <laughs> have you ever... I suppose you haven't dressed up that much. I was going to ask, have you ever been to a Comic-Con and someone's dressed the same as you? Um, I, there was someone as Fat Four when I went to Norcon, actually. Oh, um, really? Yeah, uh, we were just uh, variants, that's all. <laughs> A different timeline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all it is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm sure there will be plenty of uh, Jedi at the next one. It's, uh, it's going to be Chris Barry at the next one. It's going to be quite a few. Um, they're, they're have you have you booked your tickets to see Chris Barry? Uh, no, I'm not. I don't do any of the signings or anything like that. And I got one of uh, was it Martin Ballantyne? Guy had done this picture for me, signed that picture, and uh, he just talked me into it. Really, he uh, he saw me dressed as a Jedi and says, "Oh, I was in Obi Wan Kenobi. Come and get a picture." <laughs> and he uh, he gave me a reduced price. So, uh, what well, because he'd forced you into it? <laughs> yeah, felt, we've taken the picture now. You got to pay for it. it. Yeah, he, he didn't do anything anime, so uh, everyone was walking past him. So, <laughs> so I was going to say, I'm pretty much the only person who um, I didn't mind Red Dwarf, but I just love Chris Barry in British Empire. Yeah, he's brilliant in British Empire. I, I love that. It's, uh, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's underrated or just not talked about enough. It's. Um, I think people remember pe it. People like... know. People know it, don't they? I think. I'm sure everyone. Give it. Give us a yes if everyone knows. Who everyone's seen that before. Has everyone seen? <laughs> everyone. Everyone's seen the British Empire in the chat. Everyone Come type on. yes, Mister Britus. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, Colin. Oh yeah, my wife's met him before. Actually, yeah, she's already met him. Yeah. Um, it's a. Yeah, but it's I, I don't think it's um, that underrated. It's just um just people don't talk about it a lot. I don't know why. It's uh it's it's great. People everyone loved it, I think. <laughs> um and uh what's I don't know if you're gonna be into it now. I was gonna ask what your favorite Pokemon was, because I knew that would erupt the uh, comments like crazy. Yeah, I have I have no idea. Um <laughs> or... All I know is Pikachu. <laughs> That's what I know. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't I, think um, anyone remembers the name of the Leisure Centre. Uh, Do you remember the name of the Leisure Centre? Oh, no. <laughs> See, everyone remembers it. <laughs> what was the favourite cosplay that you saw at Norcon? Not I love... Own. Yeah, I, I love the big... Big outfits. Um, I had a couple. I had a picture of a couple, um, all dressed up in these big armor and big old swords, and that's the kind of thing I love. These um, massive, you know, like Warhammer type things, and that I like sort of to, thing. I love you. Uh, big walk past someone. Big you walk past someone who was Iron Man, but the suit was Buzz Lightyear, but the face was Iron Man. <laughs> I thought that was good. <laughs> Do you remember that remember. or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that was just before. You walked around the corner and then you got sent to the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I got okay. I got sidetracked by the body paint. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um... we've got a quiz this week, oh. and I'll probably go back to the questions next week. But it's another picture quiz this week, and I think everyone at home is going to like it because. Um, I've, what I've done is I've gone through your, a couple of your Norcon videos and screenshotted some various people in cosplay and then zoomed in. So you're going to have to guess oh. what the cosplay is. But I think they're all quite okay. easy, to be fair. I'm not sure about this. Oh, Whitbury Newtown <laughs> Leisure Centre, apparently, everyone. Oh, that rings a bell. It's <laughs> a real one, isn't it? <laughs> So are you ready for picture number one? I think you'll be all let's right. Go, let's, go, let's go for it. I'll see, we'll see how we do. Picture one. I thought um, you'd get this because I put the logo. I kept the logo there. <laughs> oh, dear. No, 
No, no idea. Does anyone at home want to guess? I hope these aren't someone someone I know because I feel really bad. <laughs> you might feel really bad, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I forgot it. It was Link. Coast Chicken oh. was right. It was Link. Uh, was Zelda. Yeah. Have you played Zelda? Um, not really. I've played parts of it, but I never. I kind of like played it. We're on someone's game. I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't guess Zelda. <laughs> That's the thing. A lot of people go, "Oh, it's Zelda." <laughs> no, I um, I don't know that one. <laughs> right, picture number two. Ah, that's, that's Fallout with the Pip Boy. Fallout Three, in fact, I think. <laughs> I think yeah, I, the I, yeah, I think back. it is three. Three with the. Uh, oh, it might have been four, but yeah, it's it's one of those. Yeah, he was great. He was walking around giving out um, bottle caps. <laughs> <laughs> Your money's not worth anything around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picture number three. Uh, He's that's a that's a whisper. Well, one of the zombies. I think he was a whisperer. I'm pretty sure. Does anyone in a... the comments want to guess who that is? Oh, am I wrong? Oh, I'm pretty you sure. You can have that... another guess. You can have as many guesses as you want, Neil. Oh, um, oh dear, I didn't realise I might have been wrong on that. Uh, no, I don't even know what whisperer is. I don't think. Um, they're in um, The Walking Dead. They are people, and they put the um, zombie skin on and walk around like zombies, but they're... Oh, okay, so they get the zombie skin on. So Yeah, yeah it was Jason Voorhees. Oh, it was J- oh, Kelsey got I, sh- it. I should have guessed with them, the mask, yeah. So. Nathaniel says Jason. <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> I don't know if Nathaniel's going to get a talking to from his dad about the fact how he knows who that character is. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. You'll have to move on from this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, guys. We all know Chewy, don't we? <laughs> I probably, uh, I probably could have could have guessed from one of his hairs or something. Ah, oh, that's my Massive. wife. <laughs> yeah, uh, is he that tall? Or is your wife just? <laughs> he is that tall. I think. I, I think I know him. I know the guy that does a Chewy, um, and um, I think that was him. He's a he's a pretty big guy. I think he's probably uh, getting getting on for. Seven foot, maybe. <laughs> Picture number five. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, oh, is that? I see, I see purple. Is that? Um, what's the name? Agatha. That's not Agatha, is it? What Christy? Hmm. No, um, Agatha from from One Division. No. Oh no, this is um a predator, isn't it? One of the predators. Yeah. I tell the teeth. The teeth. Yeah. I didn't know if you could tell from the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking actually. I'm not cheating. <laughs> yeah, these are great. I think they, these guys are here every year, every year. So um, look forward to seeing them again. There's a, there's quite a lot of them as well. The people walking around as predators. It's, I like it. Number six. Uh, that, that's a Harley Quinn. Yeah. So your final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. The last one. Nathaniel said Predator again. He knows all these horror film ones. Oh, Nathaniel. <laughs> That's a good one. A classic, classic Harley Quinn. I prefer the classic one because you don't see the classic one very often anymore. <laughs> it's better than um, what's, what's her name? Whatever her name is. <laughs> right. Margot Robbie, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And uh, right, I hopefully the new the new one, but I'm just off subject quickly. That's right. The new... Um, the new uh, Harley Quinn, what's her name? The singer. Oh, I've forgotten her. I've forgotten her name now. Uh... <laughs> Just off topic. Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I'm, ter- I'm terrible. <laughs> Come on, someone in chat. Who's going to be the new Harley Quinn in in the new Joker movie? <laughs> I've forgotten now. But she's going to do a really good job, I think. <laughs> oh, Lady Gaga, is it? Lady Gaga. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think she's going to be fantastic, Harley Quinn. Personally. Come on, you got to get that. Johnny Five is alive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that would count because there's not technically a person inside it, but I thought that was cool. Number eight. That's all right. Oh, oh, what is that? I like the way someone's typed Lady Gaga, apparently, and it's not <laughs> it's not to this, but it just kind of fits. No, it do- doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Harley Quinn, uh... she might be like that. <laughs> 
No. I, oh. You're going to kick yourself off. No, I can't, I can't think of this. Could Does be. anyone in the comments know what cosplay I feel like is? I should know. To be fair, it is probably one of the most difficult ones on there, to be fair. Oh, we've got a comment. Here we go. Who, who is your people? No, ooze. Lots of ooze. Yeah. <laughs> ben, you need Nathaniel's <laughs> parental settings because he knew Predator and Jason straight away. Oh, is it? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's my sister. That's um, Squibbit Bessie there. In the oh, nice. <laughs> Dress up as um, a, a variant of Lady Loki, apparently. Because she has full horns. Not not a thingy one. Darth, Darth. I nearly said Darth Maul. It's not Darth Maul, is it? <laughs> Do you need me to answer whether it is? <laughs> oh, I got. It. <laughs> I like the lightsaber. Oh, yeah. They've done a really cool job with that. It's kind of furry. Yeah, homemade lightsaber, isn't it? That's um. I do not know the name. <laughs> I'm off. It's... Oh, Dave. <laughs> Why can't I remember Comic-Con stuff? stuff? Thank you, kind of red. <laughs> it's it just slipped my mind. <laughs> I, I love his lightsaber. In the movies, I love his lightsaber. How it's um, not quite complete. It's all hissy, and it's just it just shows his um, inability to do things. Pro- uh, t- yeah, he's, he's not trained well enough to make a proper lightsaber. It's all crackly, and it's it's not a pro- It's not a, a nice smooth lightsaber like the other Jedi's. I, I, I love kind of, that. Uh, I, don't, I like it now. When I first saw it, I thought, is it not quite dangerous to have those two bits sticking out? Well, you, when you're swinging it around, you would think so, wouldn't you? But um, I don't know. It's a fractured kyber <laughs> crystal. I, people fractured know more than me. So yeah, Bessie knows all about it. Who we got here? That's the Witcher. Oh, Toss straight away. To the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I love the Witcher. And um, uh, didn't Henry Cavill do a brilliant job as the Witcher? I've not watched it because. I saw, I've seen bits of it, and I don't think I'm going to like it because I'm a big fan of the game. But I don't um, know if I'm, I'm a big fan of the game, and I love it. He's a he he is he is the Witcher. He is he he, he captured it perfectly. You you won't be disappointed. That's one of the five, five, five Nights at Freddy's characters. Don't know which one. <laughs> anyone in the chat want to guess? I'll, I'll give you that. But anyone in the chat want to guess? <laughs> I tried playing that and um, I couldn't get on with it. <laughs> oh, did, have you streamed it? I um, did. I stream it. Or I, I tried videoing it and I just couldn't get anywhere on it. I just um, kept dying over and over again, <laughs> almost like uh, my en- Emily wants to play. But um, I, w- I got so many jump scares on that game, I had to put out on, <laughs> on my videos. <laughs> We haven't talked much about Doctor Who, Dave, but um, it does exist. So, what do you think about Doctor Who, yeah, exactly. Neil? While we're here, quickly. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. Um, it used to scare me as a kid, and I just never, I never folded it up when it came back. I, I think when it came back, I probably didn't have a television, so I never got back into. What was it Tenant? Was it? It, came, it was the first one that came. Come yeah, back it was again. E- Eccleston, wasn't it? Was it? E- oh yeah, it was Eccleston, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and yeah, had, had I ever followed into it when it came back on TV again, I probably would have got into it. But I never, I never followed it into it, so I, I never bought into it again. Unfortunately, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll go back one day. I don't think I will though. Yeah, it was it was Foxy from. Uh... Oh, Fox. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't know the character name. You gotta get this one. You gotta get this one. Doctor Strange. Is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> that it looks like the, he's uh, not anima- very anima- impressed, thing. his expression. <laughs> <laughs> he had a little patch on his um, cape as well. It was, uh, it was from, uh, from the recent, most recent movie. Go get that. Ooh. Is that Vader? Yeah, it is Vader, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, the lighting was a bit weird, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> So you didn't watch it when David Tennant was in it either? No. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, I have seen him. I think I saw the uh, Christmas special one with, a, was it Kylie Minogue in it? 
Wasn't that what? Yeah. yeah, I think that was that was that one, wasn't it? What did you think about uh, Billy Piper? Wasn't it? Did you watch it when? No, you didn't watch Christopher Eccleston. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really watch any of them. <laughs> you gotta get this one. Uh, they're the Mario's, Barry, Luigi, and Mario. Mario I was say, if Mario's the one, you can't get the name off. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! I told them they should have had moustaches on their on their face masks. <laughs> oh, you gotta get the last one, right? Ready? Okay, one more. Oh, that's me, and that's me dressed as fat, fat four. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, say, it's my whole family. Five times fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not on a family channel. <laughs> that wasn't bad. You only got three wrong. Oh, that's not too bad. How everyone found it at home, but that was uh, that was pretty cool. I thought <laughs> I was there though, so I probably should have done better. <laughs> Did we want to talk more about um, your road trip? That was recent. Which one? Well, the new recent one. The recent ah, one, yes. because what people let's, don't let's know let's is talk about you, theme did, parks. you did a you did a, a vlogs at theme parks, and then recently was it Sunday? I remember I was watching it live when you premiered it, but you did a oh, well, review the, the road trip, yeah, well, of the yeah. road trip itself, and I thought that was really good. You showed the prices, and the hotels. Yeah, and well, the I, I, and... I always wanted to do that, um, but um, I kind of like wanted it separate from uh, the actual vlogs. Because uh, whenever I watch people doing their travel vlogs, um, I kind of feel like I've already watched it and it's pointless mm. watching it again. So um, I wanted to kind of like do a big recap. recap of the, uh... <laughs> it's a family <laughs> channel. <laughs> <laughs> My vlogs aren't that bad, are they? <laughs> but... Um... <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to do that. Yeah, show um, show my little road trip. But yeah, I had a really good time on the road trips. Um, took a bit of planning. Uh, I think uh, my total cost was around two hundred and seventy pounds, something like that, for everything. And I used. I didn't um, seem too bad. Tesco, Tesco club cards here and there, and um, hotel dot com where I got free hotels and things like that. And it's um, was that using bad, club yeah. card points? Yeah, using club card points, and you get um, three times the amount on your club card points. So got free hotel from it and um pretty much all of my uh blackpool pleasure beach paid for so uh, you, you did the uh, well five there. parks in uh, four days five parks in four days yeah and um uh, that's heavy going that is um if anyone does do it i said in the vlog or in the yeah uh, that uh, if anyone does do a road trip i suggest splitting up do a do a couple of days at a park and then have a break day um it might cost you an extra night in a hotel but um you'll feel Go into a park when you're feeling run down and um, tired, and um, you're not getting the most out of it, and um, it's not a good idea. Uh, I don't know how um, some people do it. I know there's a uh, big, big channels that do big road trips, uh, six, seven, or two weeks even, and just go day after day, and you just don't realise how much it takes out of you. Um, so, uh, really, Did you want really to explain the route, the route you took for the people at home. I took from Norwich. I go up from Norwich to Skegness. Um, Skegness, I did Bottoms Pleasure Beach and then um, went to Ingold Mills in the same day, next, pretty much next to each other, done Fantasy Island. Then we went up, stayed halfway in a hotel and then went to um, Flamingo Land. And that's what the whole trip was all about, doing sick. Of course, I needed to do sick. Um, I I do like Colossus, but um, I can rarely get on it. So um you like sick puns? There with... Do I like puns? Yeah, that roller coaster has so many. <laughs> I never, I never did anything like that. I, I don't, I didn't think I even said this coaster was sick. <laughs> you, said it, you said it now. We've tricked you. No. Tricked you. Yes, but uh, what, no, what I, I want to say quickly I before you carry that. on is you yeah. started doing um, walk around videos as well in your mm, videos. I thought that was a good idea. And I thought that was a good idea. So maybe yeah, I, uh, that's something that, that might I get always... traction. On its own as well, like when you, you pull it out of the that, other video. That's, and, the, that's yeah. the whole plan. Somewhere later on down the line, I, I think they'll let the video die down, and then I'll um, put up some uh, the walk around separate ones. Um, because I, I always used to watch vlogs to see what the parks like. Um, I, that's how I started watching vlogs. Um, my mm. fan theme park worldwide, and I wanted to know what you know Alton Tower, what Alton Towers had, and what um, what different places had, and the rides, and um, and I'd watch it, and um. All vloggers do standing outside a ride and go, this ride here, we're going to go on this ride. 
and then next next bit will be oh now we're on this ride and we're going to go on. and you couldn't get an idea of where things were or anything yeah, it was um, the terrain so so um i thought yeah just just show people around and uh, yeah uh, people do it at fun fairs everyone who does a fun fair vlog you do your walk around and show everyone where everything is but it never happens at theme parks so i thought give it a go do, do oh, i like that cuz i've not been to Flamingo land so that gave me a straight away i've learned a lot from that video yeah, I've had a couple of people say that. that is, Apart um, from yeah, that kid who put his hand in your way. <laughs> <laughs> when you're walking back from the river ride, whatever it was called, Ranger River. Yeah, <laughs> give you a little wave. I don't mind vlog bombers one little bit. It was them, if you ever if you watched um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, there was, um, there was a couple of kids who followed me around screaming someone's name. And they walked, done that for, done that for about five minutes, screaming someone's name. And they were doing it on purpose, and I had to turn the camera off and uh, say, uh, I'm not going to carry on until you stop doing it. <laughs> so, what did they, say? they just walked off. <laughs> I get a, got a little shot of them and say, I said, there's the, there's the idiots over there. <laughs> there's the guilty but, party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, name and shame. If anyone in comments know who they are, <laughs> pop, up their, pop up their Facebook page. <laughs> but yeah... Um, yeah, sometimes you get um, idiots, but uh, I, I don't mind vlog bombers one little bit. I think uh, it's all part of the fun. It's showing people having a good time, and so long as uh, they're not being nasty, go for it. Come and shout, shout in the camera, or whatever. <laughs> I don't mind. It's a family channel. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go my, after my... Mangaland? Uh, yeah, from Flingerland, we went to the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I say we; it was just me on my own. But uh, oh, well, then, why, um... why didn't why were you on your own? <laughs> no, I, I like I like to do some of these things on my own. It's um, it's just nice. Does, she, does do your it. wife want to go? And you're like, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> she does like she she really wants to go to Flamingo Land, but I don't think she um she would have uh, she would have wanted to do the rest. She like she likes to do different things uh, rather than uh, the same thing <laughs> all the time. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. From, from, so from uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we went down to um. Uh, Alton Towers, yeah, and of course, I'm a Merlin pass holder, and I thought I'm that way. I was thinking about going to Drayton Manor, I've never been to Drayton Manor, and never I been. wanted to do it, never been. Um, I wanted to do it, but uh, I thought I don't really have the time or the money to do another park, I better do Alton Towers because it's it's a freebie for me. Are you but planning on it doing Drayton Manor? I will. I will do. I'll probably do it next year. Now it's um, it's getting a bit can, too close to um, Halloweeny time. I'm uh, planning that now. If you can now, get a so decent I'm... hotel nearish by, because West Midlands Fire Park isn't too far. Yeah, just like the yeah, other side of Birmingham. I, 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 I'll probably do it next year. I don't think I'm. I don't think I've got it in me to do it. I I don't like doing parks in summer holidays. No, I'm and, the same. Um, <laughs> so I steer clear of that. And there's plenty, plenty going on in summer holidays anyway. So um, there's plenty to vlog for a variety channel. So um, yeah. So yeah, and that was it. Alton Towers finished. I was going to say, um, I thought it was going to be a freebie for me, uh, Alton Towers, but I ended up uh, getting a fast pass, and because uh, I saw the queues, I, I, I fed up with queues. Uh, school trip season, so um, I got myself a fast pass. Very first time having a fast pass of any park, and. Um, uh, it worked. It was good, but it was expensive. <laughs> it's uh, it's um it's painful when you're a pass holder and you you got to pay sixty five pound in the park. <laughs> it's painful how many they sell, so it doesn't. It almost doesn't at times feel like you've got much of a yeah. Park, I, you're queuing I, again. I, I, the, the smiler was a twenty minute queue in the fast pass. <laughs> that was uh... might as well have gone single ride. What's a single rider like? Single rider was probably fifty minutes or something. That was oh, right. Um, and the main one was two hours. It was it was nuts. Um, roller coasters are us. They're asking, "What's your favorite ride at Alton Towers?" They say everyone. But you're on the show. Well, it's my, it's my favorite roller coaster of all time. It's uh, <laughs> it's the Wicker Man. I love the Wicker oh, Man. Oh really? And I'm gonna, I thought you were going to say Nemesis. End, I'm going to put it at the end in the dark. Um, because What's your favorite in the daytime. Uh, probably Swarm. It's quite a smooth Swarm, <laughs> isn't it? Oh. Uh, uh, that's my roller coaster, but in the in in yeah, yeah, Alton, T Alton Towers, yeah, it's in the, yeah, Wicker Man all the way, uh, with the um show, this pre show on, and um, 
the smells and walking, even walking around the the ride and getting to see the whole thing as you're walking around it. And uh, it's just brilliant. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love. I don't think a ride has to be a uh, inversions all the time. It has to be the fastest mm. or the. Uh, I feel like I, I prefer the theming since I've got um, older. When I was like younger, it was just about having you know an intense ride, and now I'm the. I could have a calm ride if the theming's on point. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess um, I don't know. I, I don't know what draws me to the uh, Wicker Man. I think uh, it was well, it was the night ride. It because um, I liked Wicker Man, but I always found Swarm better. I like a smooth ride. I don't like a rough ride at all. <laughs> Stop it, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I oh, he's lost thinking. it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was always swarm, and then I went on um, Wicker Man in the dark, and um, the, the red lights everywhere. It looks like the whole thing's burning away, and you got the smoke going off, and you, oh, it just, it just um, blew me away because, of course, it's super fast at night as well, and so um, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> but by the end of the day, when it's all warmed up, it's lovely. So what I'm going to so, do? Um, I'm gonna so, ask. Sorry, sorry, Smiler fans and Nemesis fans. <laughs> Sorry, smaller Whatever fans who like to dress up as staff. <laughs> They're going to be the most annoyed. Because I know, I know Steve from Tours and Food loves people dressing up as the smaller staff. Smiler does have the best um, merch, though, doesn't it? Uh, I wish a, a, the other rides has as, as good a merch as that. Uh, Do you remember did. when they sold the little garden gnomes and they did air and they did Smiler and then they didn't sell very well, so they didn't do the rest? <laughs> no. no. That's funny <laughs> photos of that in the future. That was quite funny. They were going to do all the rides and they just didn't sell. Oh yeah, Wodan's brilliant. If you ever get to Europa Park, do Wodan. That's just insane. Yeah, uh, it's uh, on on the bucket list. But I was going to say, if anyone wants to ask a few questions as I wrap this up, but um, mm. if anyone wants to get excited for next week, we're going to have Explore with Kersley on next week. Mm. And uh, we're going to have some quite interesting stuff to talk about, I think. He's in the chat. <laughs> but does anyone want to ask you anything <laughs> before we go? <laughs> Anyone will ask me? Uh, no, they've all so been a, quiet now. <laughs> a, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a little insight of something in the future. Is um, I'm now going to plan. I'm now planning my uh, Disneyland Paris trip. First oh, time yeah. for a Disney park. So um, yeah, I was uh, looking forward to that. Doing that in January, I think. So. Uh, oh, what are you looking really forward looking to most? Phantom Manor. Um, Big Thunder Mountain. It says it's the ride I've wanted to do for years. <laughs> I was always a bit annoyed they never got a splash mount in there, but I think they ran out of money, didn't they? I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I would like to see a Star Wars land there. It's coming, apparently, isn't it? What video would you say is your best? Oh, watch them all. Um, watch them all, Curse. <laughs> watch them all. Um, I do like my the very first fairground frights one is the bit the clip that I show at the beginning. I love it so much. I, I just it, it, I didn't expect fairground frights to be as good as it was when I went. I thought it was going to be a few bits of free theming around. If anyone knows Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, it's just a small park. It's not it's not really that big, and I thought they're not going to do really that much for Halloween, and um, they really pulled it out of the bag, and uh, I had such a good time. So um, apparently they've cancelled Batu at Disneyland Paris. Oh, oh! I didn't know that. But um, is there anything else you want to tell the people, the masses, before uh, we wrap this up, uh, Neil? I've really enjoyed uh, having you on. I want to have you on again <laughs> it's, after it's, Halloween. It's, really, it's, it's, it's been fun. I've, I've really enjoyed coming on. And I've been looking I want you on again after Halloween because I know we're going to talk about Great Yarmouth again. Yes, because I, yeah, I'll, I'll, again? Uh, I will do Pleasure with Chills. I've got, um, I've got a list of like 15 parks. I don't know if I'm going to do them all. I've messaged people saying I'm coming and seeing if I can blag a ticket, but um, I've got a few free freebies already. Don't tell people but... your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, most people say no anyway, so uh, unless unless you've got the numbers, uh, they won't give you tickets anyway. Um, uh, there's there's people that just um, ignore you. So, uh, But um, my favourite park, or my favourite um, scare event, which was Horror at Hinchingbrook House, uh, they've uh, they've given me free tickets, so I'm, I'm looking How forward to going down tickets? there. Because that was insane. That was a brilliant. Um, that is. A, I didn't think we'd have so enough time intense. to talk about that, but it's insane. <laughs> You've got a video of a walkthrough on your channel. Everyone, go see that. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. 
I don't know how they're going to do without chainsaws this year, though. Chainsaws are banned. I don't know if you know. Why is that? What, the fumes? Uh, no, um, because of the fuel costs, I think. Fuel crisis. Um, <laughs> is that not letting... that? No, seriously, the government aren't letting people use um, chainsaws for recreation. Recreation? <laughs> That's brilliant. What are you buying the chainsaw Seriously? for? The recreational <laughs> so, uh, use, purely recreational. They... <laughs> I don't know if they've, uh, they've re repealed that or not, but yeah, that's um, that was I heard that a few months ago. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to um, we'll probably have you back on after Halloween because I think it's be a laugh. I think everyone's enjoyed yeah, it. In the that, chat. Uh, uh, yeah, that's um, lots to and come. Next to week, I'm going to so. have explore with Kersley, and we're going to talk a loads of stuff, including his Alton Towers hotel tour crib style, Ooh. which I think is really cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Coast Talk says they can have lawnmowers instead. Same. <laughs> I think that's that's petrol as well, isn't it? <laughs> New whorehouse, Brexit and the fuel prices. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've really enjoyed having you on. I really appreciate you yeah, coming on. It's, really it's, it's been it's been great being here. Thanks a lot for coming on, and everyone uh, from my fans subscribe to Mike as well. Um, great channel. So, and everyone yeah. who's not subscribed to Neil, go on it. And watch, <laughs> watch his Hitcher Brick House thing and then watch some of his horror and, gaming where and he all gets the scared. <laughs> There's all sorts out there. There's a bit of everything. So, well, a bit of something. And I'll see everyone next week when oh, uh, Explorer Kersley comes on the show. <laughs>